everyone. Today we are here with David Denny, founder of the Denny Law Group. David is president of the Greater Dallas Restaurant Association. He's a board member with the Texas Restaurant Association. He's also a frequent speaker and writer on restaurant, bar, and hospitality law issues. And David has been participating in our conferences for over 10 years and always has great insightful knowledge. David is gonna be hosting his Deeper Dive Roundtable by conducting an interview with Dr. Kara Farley on best practices for addressing COVID positive employees and guests in your hospitality business and preventing others. David, can you give us a teaser on what to expect in your Deeper Dive Roundtable? Absolutely, thanks Taylor, I appreciate it. Hey everybody, um, look, as, as we've all become so painfully aware, COVID has wreaked havoc, not only across the hospitality industry from a hotel perspective, but also across the restaurant and bar industry. Everybody who's participating in this conference knows better than the general public how bad it has been. Um, in many of your states, uh, restaurant, dining rooms, and bars are still completely closed for business, which is very scary. And even in states like Texas, uh, dining rooms are open to partial capacity. Uh, bars remain closed. 2020 revenue is decimated. Um, and for, for some reason, um, I'll, I'll share this with you guys. I don't know, I don't know what magical power um, food has to make uh, COVID go away, but apparently this is our reality where bars are dark and restaurants are not. But thank God that restaurants are at least partially open. Um, so, so part of the reopening process, whether you have gotten into the reopening process in your state or you're coming into it as your state's open at partial capacity or whatever, um, has been dealing uh, with COVID positive employees and guests who have been in your establishment that turn around and let you know uh, that they have, they were in your, in your premises and that they are now uh, dealing with a COVID positive diagnosis. So it's happened a few times. It's, it's pretty nice when people do that. Uh, turn around and let you know that they've at least been there. And so uh, as, these as these states have reopened throughout the spring and, and summer, and as we move into fall with, with additional openings, restaurants just simply don't know how to address um, what happens when they have a, a COVID positive employee. Uh, and in many cases, they would just shut their doors for two weeks while uh, you know every employee in their restaurant or bar quarantined. And of course, then they would spend thousands of dollars on disinfecting regimens, um, electrostatic cleaning, whatever, inside the, uh, the envelope of their entire business. Um, and when they didn't close in that event, some operators chose instead to just clean the space, but have all of their, uh, their employees tested for COVID, which was also uh, not as costly as closing for two weeks, but very, very costly, especially when they're footing the bill to have um, mobile testing venues, mobile testing sites show up um, or, or send their employees to a testing center. So now in, um, in the, here as we come into fall of 2020, we know more about how coronavirus works, how it interacts with our restaurant hospitality environments. And we know that electrostatic cleaning is great. It can get inside of all the nooks and crannies um, of a workspace. I'll share uh, uh, just a little bit of information about it. Um, and we'll talk about it with, uh, with Dr. Farley uh, about how some of this electrostatic cleaning can, can not only provide uh, a safe working environment, but it will also provide a peace of mind for your guests and for your employees. And there's now sort of the, the badge of honor where, uh, where you can put a sticker on your door that says we routinely test, we weekly test, I mean not test, we weekly clean um, our, our establishment to address COVID. Uh, and that is giving guests a lot, of, uh, a lot more enthusiasm to go out when they know that that is, is, is in your establishment as opposed to somebody else's. Um, and we dealt with a lot of that in our office, just helping coordinate some of this uh, as our clients have had COVID positive employees. Um, we also know in the new paradigm that uh, restaurant spaces will probably look uh, differently than they have in the past. And, and um, one of the things I wanna share with you are, are some, con some creative solutions um, that, will, that will augment uh, your dining space in addition to the ways that you will take care of your employees. So you don't just have to put up a piece of uh, shower curtain, um, but you can, you can really get into uh, some branded and very cool dividers. And, and for states like Texas, if you have a divider, you can space your tables out 
four feet apart instead of six feet apart, which will allow you to get greater occupancy. And so um, this in conjunction with cleaning, in conjunction with some of the stuff that we will talk about with Dr. Farley. Oh, I'll show you another one that's, uh, that's pretty great. Um, this one, this one shows a before and after. Uh, the before is, this is what a dining room looked like uh, pre-COVID, and here's what it can look like uh, post-COVID with lots of different dividers, and, and it doesn't just have to be completely sterile and, uh, and offensive. But, um, but as, uh, when we get together and, and talk with Dr. Farley, we will figure out um, some of the solutions that she has put together for, for businesses. And so in that deeper dive session, we're going to be visiting with Dr. Farley, who is a public health physician who until very recently was a flight surgeon um, tasked with addressing COVID at the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base in Fort Worth. In July of 2020, she separated from the Navy and she founded a company called Blue Ocean Health Services, um, where she not only uh, started working with private companies to help them manage and the, 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 the COVID environment, but also she developed a screening app so that the business has one side of the app and the employee has the other side of the app and they're basically self-screening through the various questions you have to ask yourself every day before you come to work and the employer can know uh, that that employee has performed that function before that employee is allowed to be on the schedule. Um, just a little glimpse of Dr. Farley's bio here will uh, give you an idea of what she's all about. And uh, I'm really excited to introduce her to you guys. Um, she's also developed a protocol uh, for dealing with those COVID positive employees to obtain the information from them if they do have a COVID positive diagnosis or if they are if they feel like they've been in close proximity to somebody who's received a COVID positive diagnosis. Um, and that allows not only the employee, but more importantly, the business to, to take appropriate steps to deal, with, um, to deal with that situation. So for example, if a dishwasher comes in and says they've tested positive, you probably don't need to close the entire restaurant for that. You probably don't need to have the entire staff tested for COVID um, if the dishwasher has only interacted with a handful of people in the, in the back of the house and in the restaurant. As a result, uh, you as an employer, as, a, as an operator, have a much um, broader base of latitude with which to operate and deal with, monitor your employees, do a little bit of contact tracing for that employee to figure out uh, what exactly do we need to do. Do we, we don't have to shut the whole thing down and, um, and clean the place uh, top to bottom and, and spend six, eight, ten thousand dollars a time uh, as opposed to just dealing with it on an employee by employee basis. So what we will do with Dr. Farley is we'll discuss some of the mythology that surrounds COVID um, in the workplace, mask wearing in restaurants, mask wearing at the table, um, and some steps that you as restaurants and bars can take to responsibly open and most importantly provide your employees and your guests with a sense of safety. So I'm really excited to, um, to introduce Dr. Farley to you guys. And, uh, and I really believe her insight will dramatically affect your F&B operations as you go forward. Um, I'm looking forward to it. We don't know what it's gonna look like in the future, but uh, we've, gotta, we've gotta be able to address it. So here we come. I hope you guys will show up and, and, uh, and be interactive with, uh, with her as, as we introduce her to you guys. Thanks so much. Awesome, David, thank you so much. We are so excited to have both you and Dr. Farley join us. For everyone watching, we will be able to post the agenda for you so that you can know when to join them both. And we look forward to talking to you further. Thank you so much, David. Thanks, see you soon.